And here we go. Good evening, everybody, and welcome. Hold on. What the hell? No touching. It looks like the center on my joystick is not centered correctly. What the hell? <laughs> Hold on. Uh, let me have a quick look here. Control panel. Yeah, that's definitely not right. Try to replug that. There we go. Much better. Okay. So, where are we at? So, okay, so the point. Um, hold on, is the microphone working? Yeah, okay, good at this. So, the point of, uh, of today's stream is um, we continue from the, not last time, but the time before that, when I was upgrading the power plant on my, uh, on my Corvette. Um, and during the stream, it was, uh, it was named by you guys to uh, the cucumber, so it kind of sticks. It's on the side of the ship now, at least. But um, in order to upgrade it, I think... Do I have a filter? No, I do not. Um, we need... Uh, here, okay, I do have a filter. I thought as much. Um, so I've been picking up quite a bit of tellurium. So you can see here. 30 units of tellurium, but I'm a bit low on both um, conductive ceramics. There we go. And I'm also low on chemical manipulators. I see nine chemical manipulators, six conductive ceramics. And if I remember correctly, those are the three materials that you use for a grade five power plant um, or the overcharged um, power plant. So. First order of the business, sorry, I'm just looking this up to be absolutely sure that I got the right things. Um, really should begin to prepare more for these streams, I guess. Um, okay, so the idea is, <clears throat> wow, that we're going to look up, um, I'm going to find these materials that we need, and then we're going to go and upgrade the, the Corvette, and then I'm also going to talk about the, set, the final setup that I'm going to be using. Let me see, blueprints, power plant, here, overcharged power plant, grade 5, tellurium, conductive ceramics, and chemical manipulators. Yes, I was right. Good. But uh, to do that, we need to go to, um, to Dave's Hope, because I didn't link that. Pretty sure that where is Dave's hope? Anyway. Um fuck. Again with the preparation again. Ha. Dave's hope. Okay, so we're just gonna look uh look okay, here we go. Dave's hope. Hydro sector, D R V C whatever. That one. Okay, here we go. Now we can actually get started. So, we're gonna go down to Dave's Hope and we're gonna collect ourselves some um, manufactured materials. It's not that far, 300 light years. Um, and once we are done that, we're gonna go and pick up the Corvette. Good evening, Cedric. And then we're gonna head out to the engineer and we're gonna upgrade the cucumber. Hopefully we're gonna get a, uh, a better roll on the power plant this time. Um, and then if we got more time, depending on how late it is, we might uh, begin to upgrade some of the other modules. Um, maybe the weapons, I don't know that yet. I guess I'll figure that out along the way. Maybe we're gonna go out... Uh... Yeah, jump range is good. Jump range is very good on this ship. It's my bubble boss used to get around, uh, get around the bubble. Um, yeah, maybe we're gonna upgrade the weapons. I don't know. Maybe we're just gonna try to get that good up, uh, that good roll on the power plant. Um, 
No. Okay, so we're gonna look for a station because, as you can see here, my SRV bay is empty because I accidentally lost my SRV. Um, don't ask. <laughs> so we're gonna go pick ourselves up a new uh, new SRV before we head out to Dave's home because otherwise it's gonna be very difficult to do. And I need a glass of water while we're jumping. And I guess the stream ties in pretty well with, uh, with today's video, which was actually uh, about Dave's home and how you can get a lot of uh, materials down there. And we should be able to get both uh, chemical manipulators and uh, ceramic components. Oh, sorry, conductor ceramics. No station here either. I really hope we can buy a station. Four jumps we should do. We're in the middle of the bubble, so would expect as much. The E is silent. So it's Dave's hub. Ah, okay. So that's that's hope. Yeah, okay. Dav, Dav, Dav is her name. Okay. Oh, I begin to make it a habit to uh, to always combat aftermath. Ooh, let's have a look at that. Um, to always scan um, signal sources, especially after what was uh, happening in Maya. Or what is what is happening in Maya? Um, I just normally just jump in and just have a quick look if, uh, depending on what type it is. If it's just degraded with uh, emissions, then I don't normally go in there anymore because they're all the same, it seems. But Combat Aftermath, I haven't really uh, been into too many of those. Let's have a quick look. Lots of red chips. Chemical processors, chemical. Uh, Hey, conductor ceramics. We, we actually need those. I'll have that. Be very careful not to bump it. Good. So I haven't really found anything useful in the... Oh, I found something useful, obviously, but nothing uh, interesting related to the uh, the aliens in any of the signal sources yet. And it might just be that they are only in Meyer or in that area. They seem to be very active down there. So for hard points, um, on the last stream we tested uh, a lot of different combinations of weapons. Oh, I need to take care of my fuel here. Um, and what I ended up with is that the two small hard points they're gonna be um, multi cannons small gimbaled multi cannons and they're gonna have uh, corrosive on them so what the corrosive does is they're going to um, they're gonna be sorry uh, extended magazine with corrosive so you get larger magazine because of the extended magazine um, and you get some reduced magazine from the corrosive but corrosive of course reduces the enemy armor by 25 percent so that should make um, um, it is to ensure that even when I hit larger ships, I'm always going to do full damage. Um, for everything apart from the huge slots, therefore the medium and for the large slots, I'm going to go with turreted beam lasers. Because the ship is... I do not have, I do not think I have the dirty drive yet. But the ship is a little slow and it does have problems with uh, smaller ships. So that's why I'm considering going with these turrets, because they help a lot. 
uh, to get people's shield down fast and to take care of smaller ships. Anyway, is there any kind of station in this area? I might have to have the wrong... Ah, oh, here we go. If you got the cutter, that outfitting, of course, depends on uh, yeah what you're going to use it for. I would use it for mining or trading. Um, use it for something that requires cargo, because it just turns too slowly to be a good combat ship, I think. And the jump range is not good to be an exploration ship. Oh, signal source. Degraded emission detectors. Threat zero. Nope. Oh. Ah. Great. I wanted to click um, target next system, but I managed to double click jump instead. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. I forgot the huge. The huge hard point is going to be uh, multi cannons. As well, I did test out um, normal cannons, but they really suck, <laughs> to be honest. Um, we did a test at the, uh, the last stream, or stream before that, actually, where we, where I, I so we found a, I think it was a dangerous, um, what was it, a uh, vulture, a dangerous vulture. So we took down his shield, and uh, we hit him. Square in the middle of the ship with two huge cannons. Nothing else, just the two huge cannon shields. They both hit him, and he took a total of 15 damage to his armor. And that was it. And to be honest, with the rate of fire that the cannons has, I was expecting a lot more. So that's why I'm going back to multi cannons because I'm not a that good combat pilot, to be honest. So with the slow mobility of the Corvette, um, I really think I benefit a lot from having a gimbaled weapon. I might change over to something uh, fixed later on when I get a little bit more experience. But for now I'm gonna go with um, with two huge multi-cannons with incendiary rounds and I think efficient modification on them. And all the beam lasers are also gonna be efficient. Um, so that's the loadout. That's the, one, that's the one that works the best for me. Um, but I have other ideas to test out other builds. Um, maybe go like a full frag cannon build, because the frag cannons have some very very interesting uh, special modifications. Um, but I might test that out on another ship before I go full on uh, with the, with the Corvette. But I'll figure that out in the future. Hopefully, I want to uh, to finally uh, finish my. Um, my exploration grinding up to uh, elite, so I can actually get access to the fun as well. And yes, the cannons, they are really, really crap. I was su surprised how bad they were. I mean, even if they were modified, I mean, sure, they would be better. So what are people saying? Uh, rapid fire. Yeah, it's always a trade-off whether you want um, whether you want the the, the huge uh, as to be beam lasers or to be your kinetic weapons. Hold on, are we already in this system? We are. Damn it, we didn't find a station along the way. <sighs> You're kidding me. Okay, are there some kind of surface station in this system? Yes, there are. How far is it away? Nope, it's too far. Okay, we have to go to a neighboring system that is inhabited. So we can actually find a station to get that SRV. Okay, lots of system. What about that one? Do we have any data for that one? Nope. Not a lot of people. I'm just going to hope that it's good enough. Oh, great.
Because I was considering going for high yield. It looks like a very, very fun mechanic, and especially with the two corrosive, um, the corrosive multi cannons to weaken their um, their hull armor. But you're saying you can two shot, you can two shot NPC condors with your high yield cannons. What's the shields are down, of course. Yeah. So I don't get why I did so little damage to the uh, um, to that vulture. It was really, really. Uh, okay, where can we dock? We can dock on this one. Shouldn't be too far. For PvE, you use what? Okay. Yeah, I know. Corrosive doesn't stack, but corrosive is a, a chance effect. So, um, and because you have a limited amount of ammunition, the reason why I want to go with two of them is, frankly, because I don't get that much damage out of the small hard points anyway. Um, and if I run out of ammo, of ammo I can. Uh, if ammo is a problem on the two small corrosive ones, um, I can always just. Uh, Make the firing group such they only fire one at a time. So I will fire one until that runs out of ammo and then switch the firing groups over So I fire the other one and that should extend the time that I can spend and I do know that uh, that they don't stack Because it's a status effect No, I think the high capacity uh, magazines are a good idea on the corrosive ones because the two smalls not going to do that much damage anyway, and it's just going to extend the amount of time I can spend uh, shooting at people. So I don't have to spend that much time flying back to the station to restock. But that's the the loadout I'm going to go for. And then, of course, a variety of shield upgrades just to maximize my resistance and um, and hit points. You've got two mining lasers. What weapon should you use to defend yourself? Uh, so, okay, so if you want to go for for extraction site mining, I would actually. Uh, I would actually recommend either going for turrets on uh, on the ship, um, and maybe fit a fighter bay so you can jump out in the fighter in case someone small comes along. Yeah, but again, if if you have restock, here we go, and now we have an SRV. Yes, we do. Good. But if you're um, if so, the idea is by having two corrosive small is if ammo is a problem, I will just just fit one in the in, in the firing group, and once that runs out, I'm gonna switch over to the other one. Um, that should extend the lifetime uh, quite significantly. Actually, it should double it. <laughs> Okay, let's get back in to the system. Route unavailable. There we go.
now let's get ourselves some materials I ah, okay she used fixed cannons Not try, try not to overshoot too much on this stream. Normally, it's my uh, my signature is just overshooting everything I try to approach. A hundred two hundred twenty ships in the hatchway side before run out. Okay, that's plenty. I don't know how long that takes, but. That is right, you can just overshoot a planet, and if you fly close enough, they might uh, crash into the planet. One and a half to two hours. Ah, that's not too bad. Okay, this is gonna be a very steep approach. So let's just make a quick go around here. Okay, let's get some distance. Keep it up before we go down to 20 kilometers. There we go. Ah, perfect. Nice steep glide. Thirteen point eight kilometers scan range. Nice. <laughs> Boom data delivery missions. Um, I would I would look in any system that's in a boom state. <laughs> For federation rank, yeah, okay. Um, I have a video up that actually shows this. Uh, let me find this real quick. Hold on, did I actually? Oh, I forgot to start the stream labs. Oh my god! Such noob. But go and look up my video on uh, on how to rank up because that actually shows a system. Um, there we go. Shows a system the where we get a lot of uh, boom data delivery missions. Exactly. That one. New hissing. New hissing. That's a very good system. Hold on. I just need to. There we go. I'll just make a quick test to see if the um, if my stream is picking up my alerts because that has been a problem in the past. Okay, it is good. Still good today. It depends if the systems are in a boom state. Yes, it is still good today. I've been there not too long ago, um, and I still think it works. Go. To reach the Corvette, you can probably reach the Corvette in a couple of days. Mechanical components. 
conductive polymers. That's the com link. None. Okay. Shield sensors. Mechanical components. Chemical manipulators, here we go. Looking for chemical manipulators and um, conductive ceramics. Oh, I didn't mean to pick that up. There we go, conductive ceramics. Good. And now we're just gonna board hop. Using my video trick, yeah. I don't know how much I'm gonna need. I probably want to get up um, round about 20 to 25 of each component. Um, wow, load times are really bad at the moment. There we go. Out. Who put a lamp there? Chemical distillery. What else do we have? Face alloys. Mechanical I prefer finding them just by driving around Dave's Hope here. I think it's uh, It's faster when I need multiple types of components and focused crystals and the last one Conductive components. Nope, that's the wrong one. There we go. Shield emitters, still not what we're looking for. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what we have here, looks like, nope, red resistors, that's the wrong one. Chemical processors. Oh, we're not really lucky with the sports right now. High density stuff. Whoops.
Compound. Okay, they're rare. Let's pick those up. Oh, inventory full. Uh, let's make some room. Let's just go for all the low-grade components here. Find anything. Uh, what are we gonna lose here? We have a lot of tungsten. Discard some of the tungsten. Shield emitters. Don't know if we're gonna need those. But let's just ditch some of them as well. What else do we ditch? It's just a little bit of everything. Conductor ceramics, we need those. The chemical processes are fairly easy to get hold of. Carbon is easy to get hold of. Do we have enough room? Okay, I think we have enough room now. Okay. Now we can pick that up. And in here, still conductor polymers. Wow. That went well. Start private session. It's alloys. Heat vents. Shield emitters. Oh, I absolutely love this place. Small shield emitters. Focused crystals. Come on. Mechanical equipment. Productive polymers, compound shielding. Yeah, I need to set. I actually downloaded ED Engineers today, um, but I never, I never really got around to actually install it because I had some videos I wanted to record today as well. Um, but I'm probably going to do that tomorrow because it seems to be a very, very useful program. Okay, let's see what we got this time. Ah, conduct conductive ceramics. Let's get that. Looks like some shield stuff. Alloys. Shielding sensors. Hello. Okay. 
chemical distillery. That's the low end versions. Hybrid stuff. Nope. Well, maybe we should pick these up as well. So how are we doing for materials right now? Let's have a quick look. So chemical manipulators is at 12 and conductive is at 15. And again, ideally I want to get these up around um, 20 to 25. Then, uh, then I think I have enough to get a good roll on, uh, on that power plant. I hope so. Because last time I got absolutely, I mean, amazingly unlucky, unlucky. Shield emitters. It seems like there's a lot of very good engineering tools out there. Okay, oh, feeling a bit unlucky right now. I really would love this to be a little bit easier. Oh, look at that, spawning up way high. <laughs> it was my plan to have picked up a lot of this before the stream actually started. But uh, some of the videos that I wanted to record today took a little longer than expected. Chemical... Chemical processors... No. Not the right ones. High density components... And that... Oops. Oh! It's just about to get stuck there. Okay, what the hell? Come on. There we go. That looks like some shield stuff. Yep. High density components. That could be good. Nope. Oh, actually, it's okay. Flawed focus crystals. And the last one is... Electrical pull arrays. Don't see those too often. Oh, oh, didn't mean to pick it up. There's been a few runs now where we didn't get any of them. Hey, you're welcome. I'm glad I could help. Was I now in was I in solo? Oh I forgot. I completely forgot. I think I was in solo. Hey George, thank you a lot for subscribing. Let's jump into a private session. Maybe I should dismiss my ship and then I can actually use um, open as well. 
gonna do that. Phaser alloys and heat exchange and a comms relay. I wasn't solo, good. Chemical manipulators. Give me that. Galvanizing alloys. And in here we have flawed focus crystals, mechanical components, conductive components, nope. Refined focus crystals. Yep. We'll have some of those. Ah, and conductive ceramics. Perfect. <laughs> I think everybody does that when you're board hopping too much. Let's get back into open. We got one of each this time. That's good. Remember, we get three units each time we pick one up. So one was a 12, so now it's 15 and 18. Conductor ceramics, here we go. Now we're talking. Chemical processors again. Conductive components. Flawed focus crystals. High density components. Chemical processors. More of these. How much room do I have left? I still have a bit of room. Stuck there. Heat exchange. The right, that was private. I think it was private. Hope it was. Yeah, chemical manipulators. This is a good run. It's been all rare components so far. Oh, let's close the cargo hatch. Refined focus crystals, yeah. Face of alloys. Shielding sensors. Heat dispersion plate. Ah. EDMC The 
I will go to private. So we are almost done. I think we are pretty close. Should we make a quick status? Eighteen chemical manipulators and twenty-one conductor ceramics. So, of course, we're a little behind on manipulators, but that's okay. Conductive polymers. Shielding sensors. Configurable components. I come on. Kidding me. Don't be stuck. So, uh, it's obviously not a native English speaker. That is true. I'm Danish. How do I find hard? How do I find hard to play elite Danish? How do you learn all those sciencey words? I studied astrophysics for five years. That's a lot of sciencey words, <laughs> and they don't really teach or don't really make textbooks in um, in Danish. So all the textbooks are of course in English. So. So that's why. So yeah, you get used to the sciencey stuff after some time. But the trick about making making sciencey words is you can easily just bullshit something so it sounds sciencey, but really doesn't really make any sense. Um, but I actually think they've done a decent job of making the sciencey words they have come up with, especially for all these components, making them somewhat um, like acceptable. Yeah, astrophysics. I uh, I wrote a master thesis on uh, um, on how you can predict solar flares, and I wrote a small uh, computer simulation. Um, which was trying to predict solar flares. Didn't go too well because it's immensely complicated and we had to cut some corners to actually make this run within uh, an acceptable time. Chemical distillery. One of the main issues was actually runtime of the code. Even though we were running this on, I think it, it was at some point running on the fifth largest supercomputer in the world. Yeah, if you want to. Okay. Don't get me started on solar flares. This is just going to be a, a lecture in solar flares then. Um, but the problem is, if you want to predict oh, refined crystals, more rare components. Um, if you want to predict solar flares, the problem is you need to be able to compute it faster than real time. Because when you make an observation, um, so let's say I make an observation of the sun. I take some pictures with a satellite and I get the data out. And then I begin to run my program. If it takes my program um, a day to calculate what will happen one hour into the future, it doesn't really help me. I cannot make forecasts if I'm calculating it slower than reality. Um, so a lot of the problems really is conductor ceramics. Yes, really is the computation time, and that's to to get that down. We have to cut corners, um, so we have to make some, some assumptions about how the world works um, to make the program run a little bit faster. But making those assumptions, of course, that will introduce errors. Um, so that's one of the main main issues. That is, which kind of assumptions is okay to make. Um, and which kind of assumptions is not. But what a solar flare is, since 
someone asked. Um, if you imagine uh, the, the sun, what is that? No, configurable components, I want that. Um, uh, the sun is what's called a plasma. It's not really burning um, as much as it is just smashing atoms together really, really fast and then making energy out of it. Um, there we go. But um, what it does is, of course, it heats up the sun and it, uh, it strips all the electrons from all the, the atoms. So you get what's called a, a fully degenerate gas, um, which means it's a gas where you have taken all the electrons from the atoms and stripped them. So you have all the uh, electrons flying around being free, uh, being free from the, the atoms nuclei. Um, and then you have the core. Um, which was course also free, but without out any electrons. This of course means that all the, the, the gas is very, very uh, electrically charged. And I don't know if you know, so when you move um, electrically charged particles around, you generate a magnetic field. And this magnetic field is actually what causes the, um, what causes the, um, the solar flares. Um, refined crystals, I'm running out of space for crying out loud. Now I'm full. Okay, I need to empty some stuff out again. Just check the last one here. See what that is. Conductor ceramics. Okay, we need that. Um. Oh, what do I want to get rid of? I don't want to get rid of anything. I'll continue the lecture in a little bit. Hold on. Let's just drop some of these. Uh, I don't know. Get rid of some of these. Okay, but you have these. Um, we have these magnetic fields, and if they form a specific uh, structure on uh, on the surface, um, hold on. See, this is why I told you not to get me started on solar flares, because now I need to find something. Uh, it's in here somewhere. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Please, did I? Did I? Yes, I did sort this out right. Ah, oh, beautiful. Okay, so essentially, let me see if I can find. Okay, so you take something that looks like main screen. Okay, that's clearly not working. Here we go. Okay, okay. So this is an image of uh, of the sun. Um, and this is the magnetic field strength towards the camera and this is a flare producing region because what you will see happen is you have this huge black area kind of surrounded by a white area and then you have a black area over here so what this means is you're going to get a structure that looks roughly like this where you will have the um, the positive notes which were the uh, the black ones, which was the positive ones, that will try to connect, but then you will get this um, negative one, because these are like kind of connected and these are connected, and this fo forms these null points, and these null points, they have a huge amount of stress on the magnetic fields. And this can actually break the magnetic field line, you can see how the magnetic field flows. And once these magnetic field lines, these, they break, they will shoot out um, the plasma, which is trapped inside the magnetic field, um, at very, very high speeds, and that's a solar flare. Um, I think I actually have some... These are from the actual simulations I did. Um, and you can see these are the points. Here we have, there was the black area, we have the one around here, and then we have something connecting out here, and then we have a little bit of flux out here. And you can see we get these cross points in here. Um, and these are what causes the solar flares. 
So I was looking for these kind of structures in uh, on the sun, and that was pretty much was what I spent like a year on. <laughs> and now I completely forgot which kind of session we were in. And let's get back to that. But yeah, exp explaining astrophysics and playing elite. Oh, conductive ceramics. Nice. I actually think maybe... Hold on, now that we are at it here. Do I have... Oh, did I save that? Uh, thesis in here. Nope, that's not the one. Come on, I'll just give you, give me one second. I'll just see if I can find this. Nope. Nah. Okay. I'm not sure if I still... I was looking for a small animation I actually did during the thesis. Uh, hold on, I can put it over here so you guys can follow along. Uh, put that there. Put this. Okay, one more and then we will continue playing League. I'm looking for... Uh, this is the... Um, this is a slideshow I used doing my master's defense. Uh, but somewhere in here, I think there might be an anim the animation might be here. So this was all the results. Um, see, the, that's the one. That's the one I'm looking for. Thank you. Nope. Okay, so animation was not here. Ah, here it is. Found it. Found it. Found it. Found it. Found it. Yes. Can you see this? Can you guys see this? Yeah, you can. Let's get this up a bit larger. So this is the uh, the animation of of the solar flare, and this is right after the uh, the flare has gone off. And you can see here, you can see the structure. We see these fan curves here and here. And you can see the null point in here, and then the arm connecting it. And there you see the uh, that's the actual flare coming up here, moving out. And you can then see how here comes a small uh, secondary arm moving up very slow, and then we see it stops. And you can still see kind of see the structure a bit, but um, yeah. And from here it just relaxes slowly, and nothing else happens. But that's that was the simulation I did doing my my master thesis. So. What is the impact of the magnetic f mm -hmm. Hmm. Pick this up. Oh. No, not handbrake. There we go. Um. Well, magnetic fields is pretty much what makes the sun the sun. <laughs> it wouldn't really be here without it. Or it couldn't. Okay, uh, I need to figure out where the hell I were before we started talking about it. So, 18 chemical manipulators, and... And 30! Wow, okay, we don't need any more of those. But I would want a few more... Was it 18? I forgot again. Yes, 18. No, I've never seen a UFO. UFO. Often when people see lights moving in the sky, it's often a satellite. Because they move across the sky fairly quickly. Did I put the stream back? I did put the stream back. Okay, metal scraps. Oh, 
Did I just miss something? Yeah, shield emitters. Focus crystals. I bring capacitors. No. No! I didn't want to pick that. I forgot I have the cargo hold open. I know there's even more of it, but we don't need any more of those. We have plenty. Because we're running out of cargo space again. One more chemical manipulator. And then we're good. High density components. We can just like visually inspect them now. I know how they look. Oh, is that it? Nah, chemical processors. Damn it. It's the wrong type. Nope. Um Grade 5 overcharge power plants. No. 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 And no. No, I'm not planning on doing the multi account thingy. Um, not that it's, I mean. I was just in private group. Um, I don't know. I just think it's too much of a hassle um, to do compared to what you get out of it. Mechanical equipment. And you can always just invite strangers in. You'll pretty much get the same. Actually, better. Um, experience because they can take control of uh, of some of your modules. But remember, with with power, do the lower grade. But I can't do the lower grade. I need the higher power. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm not gonna have enough power to power the ship with the setup that I'm using. What is that? Chemical distillery? No! Solo play. I'll go to private. Come on. One more. What's the space cube cumber? The space cube cumber is my Corvette and will make sense as soon as we get to it. I can't remember. I can't remember the exact number of uh, megawatts the ship is going to need. But I fitted it out on um, in the shipyard, uh, the ED shipyard, whatever it is. Hey, Plater. Chemical distillery? Nope. Come on, one more manipulator and we out of here. One shield one shield emitter is not what we're looking for either. Chemical manipulator. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. Give me that. We're just going to check, just to make sure, the last uh, few components here. No. 
Okay, let's recall the ship and let's get out of here. I am working on a better roll on my power plant upgrade, overcharged grade 5, because the last one I did was really, really crap, and then I ran out of materials. So now I've got the last materials I need, and we're gonna give it another go. So now I just need to remember where I parked my Corvette. I cannot remember. Okay. Let's remove that filter. Uh, that one. Not. So I know it's close to the engineer who does the upgrade. And the engineer who does the upgrade is that guy <laughs> yeah dude where's my covet so somewhere close to this one might be over there yeah i think that is it i hope that is it Yeah, that's the place I filmed the Control Alt Space video. Can't you see which ship is docked here? No, you can't. They really should do that so you can see which ship it is. Because it's pretty annoying when you sit out here and you forget where you parked your ship. How many jumps is it? Eight jumps? Oh my god. Let's take a quick flyby here of the area. Because I just love this place. So uh, it's, it's below the horizon. Okay. Hover over Star in Galaxy Mode. Can you actually see it? Ah, oh, yeah, it actually says so over there on the side panel. Ship Federal Corvette. Good. So that is the right system. Yeah, top right corner thing. Oh well, you learn something every single day. Yeah. Frame shift cancel, destination target of screw it. But I am trying to go into Super Cruise. Why is that shortcut not working anymore? What the hell? Is that button not working anymore? Let me have a quick look. See if that button is still registering, as it should. It is. It's working just fine. Yeah, I know my target is obscured, but I have a, I have a shortcut that should send me straight into uh, to cruise to uh, 
instead of going for uh, for the jump um boom 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 why is this not working okay uh flight throttle flight landing flight miscellaneous Here, toggle super cruise. Mouse two, so this one should be. Oh, let's try that again. Okay. Does that mean the? F okay. Wow. So none of these works anymore. Yeah. Okay, it was working earlier today. That's really weird. Okay, I assume we're not gonna go and do any silent running in it. Okay, so now... There we go. Now should be able to power it up. Yeah, and yeah, you could just yeah, talk that Dark Arch messed up my controls. You can just go in and make a shortcut directly to Super Cruise. So when your target is obscured by the planet, you can just deselect it. Or just uh, make that and go straight into Super Cruise. I think it's a lot easier than going out and deselecting and then jumping and then back and forth and everything. Let's get a little bit more altitude. It's not a box, just pure, pure design. Okay, while we get some uh, some altitude, I'm going to fix my uh, my other shortcuts. Because there's oh, there's a lot of them. Here we go. Right, so silent running. Deploy heat sink. Uh, miscellaneous. Everything that says something with mouse two. Here we go. Shield cell. Chaff launcher. Flight miscellaneous. Flight assist. Uh, should be like that. I think that's all of them. And now we should have enough distance to the planets to be able to jump. Yes, we do. So let's go out. Now we're gonna go out and we're gonna finally pick up the cucumber. And we're gonna head out to the engineer and we're gonna roll it and then we're gonna figure out what the next upgrade we're gonna do is. And seven jumps to go. Good. Yeah, you can go straight into the hyperspace as long as uh, your, your target is within line of sight. There are actually lots of uh, very useful shortcuts that are not bound by default. Um, 
one that I like in particular that is not bound that is target next system in route. Um, and especially if you're explorer, that is probably the most important shortcut that you should set to something. I'm gonna show you in a bit how it works once we get to the next system. So let's say I am I'm out exploring and I find something interesting in this system um, that I want to take a look at. For instance, uh, the main star. Or let's say I found a signal source and I think, ooh, I want to know where that signal source is. And I say, okay, that's not really interesting. Then you just have a single button that then relocks the system again. And that's pretty fucking neat, especially if you're out exploring and you run around, you scan planets. You don't have to go in and replot your route and, and all that. So that's a very useful shortcut. Uh, so if you come in with enough, if you enough speed, because the it doesn't uh, calculate if the time is obscured, if the star is far enough away. So we actually jump through the star, I guess. If you come in and approach at a close enough speed. There's also the um, the bug where you can use the um, the bonus jump range from um, neutron stars twice. If you go in through the neutron star and actually jump while you're still inside or while you are entering the um, um, the jet, then it will consume your overcharge and it will actually manage to overcharge before you jump and you can get, so you have the overcharge once you land at the other system, which is pretty neat. Ah, I have to get the countdown going right before it blocks. Ah, okay. <laughs> That's neat. Three more jumps. And then there's also the bug when you are getting interdicted. Uh, signal source. What do we get? Weapons fire detected. Nah. Um, when you're being interdicted close to a planet and then suddenly you... Um, you get pulled out of uh, of super cruise and you're inside the planet. I know you've guys have tried that. That's pretty annoying. I wonder if that works with black holes. Could you get stuck inside a black hole? Getting a trespass. What? Dropped out of Super Cruiser, went through the station, getting a trespass warning. <laughs> yes, I do play other games. Um, the only one at the moment that I play on the channel is um, is Fractured Space. I haven't really played it that much lately. Um, There was after the um, the 2.3 update. There was so much to talk about in lead and so much to do that I have really haven't had much time to go and play fracture space. But I'm planning to make some more fracture space videos in the future. Um, and I play lots of other small games, um, like small indie space games. But anything space related is uh, is pretty much go as long as I find it interesting. Um. There's gonna be an upcoming review of a game called Detached. I did a review of it earlier, some time ago actually, when it was in um, when it was in early access. But it, the game is being launched now. I want to go back and uh, and revisit that. Um, and I'm actually also going to be on the launch event for for the stream the for the game. Um, the developers are having a um, a live stream where they have invited a lot of uh, of YouTubers to uh, to take part. So that's going to be pretty interesting.
So there's gonna be some, but it's a VR only game. Um, which is a bit of a shame. Um, originally the plan was to make both a VR and a uh, normal monitor version of that game, but it seems like the monitor version is not really done yet, so you have to play it in VR. Which uh, greatly reduces the player base of the game. And it being a PvP game, Um, as soon as I actually, I have a date, but that's all I got. I don't know where they're gonna be streaming it, I don't know when, what time the stream is gonna be, so as soon as I know more, um, I'll definitely let you guys know when they're on Discord, and maybe also as part of the review, if I can make the review before the launch, that I might not be able to, it depends on if I can get my hands on the, um, on the final version of the game before, uh, the launch event, which I doubt I can. I think I'll only be able to get access to it after the, the launch. But I really hope this game will succeed because I love VR games and I think it could be, uh, could be pretty fun. Um, but the problem is it has a reduced player base and when you make PvP games in VR, uh, they are very, very dependent on uh, on the player base. I mean, just see what happens if you go in. Um, I think it's better now. If you go into fracture space at the beginning, doing the beta, you could often sit in the queue for 10, 15 minutes, just waiting for other players to join, so you could actually get into a, uh, into a game. Um, and that wasn't even a VR game. So I really hope they can get this game some exposure, um, so there'll be enough people um, that actually plays it. It was kind of this, a similar problem with um, with Eve Valkyries, which they also played earlier. Um, that the player base was just so small that they couldn't really fill the battles. So what they did instead was they filled it with bots, which frankly wasn't very good. Now I know not everybody has the money for VR, and now VR is expensive. Um, and that's of course what's holding a lot of people back. But it's kind of a, like, chicken and the egg, right? I mean, nobody's gonna buy any VR equipment or headsets as long as they are this, this expensive and there's so few games. So what needs to happen is that it needs to be cheaper and they need to have developed more games. So that's why I really wanted to support people who actually develop VR games because I know that most likely that game is not gonna be very profitable for them because they're gonna, not gonna be a lot of players who are going to play it. But if there are no games, then nobody's gonna buy VR headsets, so... So I'm all about uh, supporting uh, small indie VR games. Um, and as, if I stumble upon them and I feel like it fits on the channel, I'll be more than happy to do a review of them. Wow, 6.30 a.m. Well... Thanks for joining so late. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. I've had quite... Um, uh, what do you say? Um, amazing experiences in uh, in VR. Okay, let's refuel and let's get into the cucumber. Wow. 
Will you look at that? That is a beauty. I just love this ship. Huh, okay. Let's get engineering. How far is it? Hopefully not too far. 120 light years. Oh, okay, we can do this. How many jumps is it? 10 jumps. Okay. I hope it was closer, but we'll have to do it. We can do this. Yeah, because it's green. Last time I streamed uh, with this ship and I asked people for suggestions for names and people really seem to like the, the idea of calling this the Space Cucumber. So that's what it's called. <laughs> the Black Orca. Oh, we didn't get a chance to look at the loadouts. Oh well. Did I actually have the right weapons on this? Uh, beam, 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 multi, multi. Yes, I do. So collectors. I do believe I have a fuel scoop. I really hope I have a fuel scoop. Yeah, 6A fuel scoop. Nice. Is that a planet in there? Oh, it's a nav beacon. Okay, I thought it was a planet between the stars. That's gotta be hot. And always be day. Everywhere. the NPC crews. I, I guess that's what you get when you randomly generate crew members. They're <laughs> just piggy. <laughs> oh, signal source. Yeah, that would be a tough place to grow crops. No, I haven't found any system that works like Quince just for Federation.
So, I have heard some people talk about that um, that they have a suggested <clears throat> uh, suggested nerf for Quince, but I haven't really seen anything official yet. I've heard that they want to maybe limit the number of passenger missions to just one, uh, which I feel like would completely destroy all passenger liners. What is this grind you speak of? <laughs> when you look to the, look at the look at the small uh, bubble heads at the station, when you look at a, look to the side, they're all over the place. Five jumps, halfway there. Proto heat radiators. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, exactly. I agree. It's already limited by the amount that you have. But again, I expect that they are gonna nerf it at some point because every time there have been methods where you could make double digits million per hour, per hour they would nerf it so maybe they're just gonna straight up nerf the um, nerf the payout from the mission or maybe they're going to ensure that assist that that a station never spawns missions to uh, a business beacon in the same system so you always have to jump at least once to uh, to get to the beacon Something like that, along those lines, is what I'm expecting that they will do. But again, my guess is as good as yours. Um, I did for for my Corvette. I just run a lot of uh, boom de delivery missions. So find us find some Federation Alliance systems that's in the boom state, where they deliver missions um, to and from the same. So so you go to one system and then you pick up missions that go back to the other system. Um, it can take some time to find. And I have a video up um, showing you what how to do it and what you need to do to find it. But yeah, Empire rank is pretty easy at the moment with the uh, with Quince, as you can see. <laughs> on ah, okay, as you cannot see on my Empire rank. Yeah, okay, they won't nerf the rewards because I guess that's right. If they want to encourage people to go out and explore, it's maybe not a good idea to nerf the rewards from passenger missions. Now, the scan missions took a little bit of a nerf. With the last patch, um, they reduced the limit. To, they, okay, the limit is supposed to be three, but sometimes you can stack up to six missions. Um, and the scan missions are still still a viable way to make money. Um, it's not as good as the pass uh, as the passenger missions, but uh, it's still doable. So in case they uh, they find some way to to nerf passenger missions to the ground, we will still have the scan missions. 
which uh, which is going to be decent, I think. Oh, hold on, we are about to run out of fuel, and we have oh we have just one jump left. That's okay. Page like yeah. Twenty two or twenty three scan missions. You shouldn't be able to stack more than twenty. Okay, Sothan and Sears is back. Okay, I haven't really been there in a long time. Last time I was in Sothan and Sears was doing the beta, and there was no missions at all. No nothing. Completely empty. But it might have changed after the um, after the patch went live. Did you make more on scans now than after? Okay, well, looks like scan missions still work then. There we go. Reading chat over shooting planets. Loop of shame, here we come. There should never be no missions, but... It could just be something weird with the beta server. And I haven't been there after the patch went live. <laughs> Mess around too much to calculate profit power, yeah. And I think Southern Sea still should have the long range hauler missions, yeah. But are they any good? I don't know. I haven't been there in a long time. Maybe it's about time to pay that uh, that nigger the woods a visit again. That's <laughs> just shit. Yeah, literally shit. Yeah. Once you want to kill them back, yeah. Yeah, that seems like there's a lot of griefers in Quinch right now, trying to kill unshielded, uh, <laughs> unshielded uh, tra uh, passenger ships right now. As long as you're staying in, uh, in private or solo, it shouldn't be a problem. The gravity likes point oh nine. Okay, good. And we got it at the exact opposite end of the base. It isn't griefing your carrying. Ah, okay, that's a fair point, I guess. It isn't griefing if you're carrying uh, criminal passengers.
Nice and gentle. Okay. Time to roll. Power plants. Okay, here we go. Overcharged power plants. We have 21 rolls. And this is what we have to improve upon. I especially want better heat efficiency and hopefully a little better power output. Not to worry about integrity. And we always watch the first one bounce around. Oh, that's not good. Integrity is good. <laughs> that's not what I want. Power output boot is good, but heat efficiency is very bad. Don't know. Mass, mass reduction is also good. Hey, thanks a lot for subscribing. Uh, let's try it. Don't want that. I know it's better at power output, but... What's with that heat efficiency? Okay, so I get slightly better heat efficiency. I lose a little bit of power. And I lose that 2% increase in mass. This might actually be something I would want to use. It's not a huge upgrade. Was that the right one? Overcharge power plant 5. Yes. Make another one. Wow, lots of power this time. But not a lot. Not very good heat efficiency. Oh, that one's pretty good as well. Power output's good for a very small loss in uh, in heat efficiency. I think I'll take that. That's a good roll. Definitely take that. Still have 11 rolls left. That heat efficiency. Power output is good. <sighs> Thanks a lot, Plato, for joining. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, and may RNGs be with me. I don't know, is it worth going for 3% reduction in heat for 2% reduction in power? I don't think it is. I think power is a little bit more important. Let's keep rolling. Four more rolls. This might be the one we're gonna end up with.
That was not a bad roll either. Shame the power output was so low. Last roll. No. This card. Okay, but I'm pretty happy with the roll that I got. Um. So, now that we got that out of the way, let's see what... What the hell? Hold on. Hold on. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Ah, okay. Just played her who wrote to me. Anyway. Um, thinking, thinking, thinking. I can't remember how much power I need, but the more the better. Because if I have a extra power put, I'll be sure to find something to use it for. So, um, what I'm going to do next is we're going to have a look at what engineers we have available. We have the professor. We could go and do the dirty drive. Or we could engineer the pulse lasers. So that's the two options we have. So, I need... I need... What do I need? I need to figure out... And this is where it would have been really handy if I had that ED engineer installed. What we're going to need for those upgrades. So you guys can watch a along again. Here we go. That's working. Um, what was I saying? I was saying... Uh... Yeah, thrusters or thrusters or lasers. Thrusters or lasers. Move that again. And then let's get this one. Okay. So thrusters, the dirty drive. See, this is where it would be really, really handy. High thermal load again. Oh, is this going to hurt my thermal load like this thing might overheat pretty bad I guess I guess I'll have to wait and see okay so we need cracked industrial frameware cadmium and pharmaceutical isolators I do not know if I have any of that. Okay, let's see what I have. Um, what was it again? Let's put this on the other screen here. So I need... Crack industrial frame... Okay, I have 17 of those. That's not too bad. Then I need cadmium. I have absolutely no cadmium. So we need to source that if we are going to do this upgrade. And I have absolutely no pharmaceutical isolators. So that's probably going to take... Um, this is the, the edboard.net. It's pretty neat. Um, I like it a lot. Put it up here. Okay. Um, bum, bum, bum. So the other one, that was dirty drives. The other ones were beam lasers. Right? Yeah. Beam lasers overcharged? I can't remember. I made a actual build. Hold on. Get this window over here. We find this real quick. Hold on, it's not in this folder, is it? Elite. 
Covert, yes, it was. I think I was planning to overcharge the... Um, overcharge the beam lasers. No, it went efficient on the beam lasers. Okay. So, if we need... Uh, messing everything up. Okay. Beam lasers, efficient beam lasers. Ultra Quinn? Is, is that the guy who we already have? Yeah, it is. Okay, good. We need cadmium again. Yeah, exactly. I am going for... for Okay, so we need cadmium again. Cadmium, proto, heat radiators, and let's see what we got. Still no cadmium, so we need to source, source a lot of cadmium. Um, some proto heat radiators. Which I do not have either. As then we need unexpected emission data. Which I have 10 of. Okay. So there's a lot of materials I need to gather. Gather to get the... To do these two upgrades. So I'm probably going to wait with those. For this stream at least. We could begin to unlock more engineers. Haven't dealt with five black markets yet? Wow, okay. Yeah, then I need the higher combat rank. And I need reputation with a certain uh, with a certain corporation. So I think the easiest one would be to either deal with five black markets. If we want to unlock more engineers. Or what time is it actually? It's not too late. It's uh What do you guys think? Should we unlock some engineers or should we begin to uh, to farm more materials for uh, probably for the dirty drive? I am, I'm in doubt if we should go for um, what we should go for. The black market stuff, unlock the dweller. That might be a good idea. Okay, I think we're gonna do the dweller, and then we're gonna begin farming uh, cadmium. Because we need that for both the lasers and for the frameshift drive. Not frameshift drive, uh, the, the drive. So... Um, what do we do, what do we do, what do we do? We need to find something that is illegal. In some systems. Let's unlock the dweller. So personal weapons. Can we go and actually see in which systems 
the different components are illegal because if we can gather some personal weapons and just go through that station and sell them but oh i will probably have to do this because most of the black markets are on small stations so probably have to do it uh to do it in my diamond bag so let's start by finding a uh, let's find a station close by here. Something, something populated with a decent amount of people in it. Not that many people, maybe. Good. There's a station. Ah, yeah, that's right. I just need stolen cargo. I can just pick stuff up in a. Um, I'll just pick stuff up, stuff up in a signal sources. There's lots of stolen stuff there. Oh, do we really want to fly all the way back? I'm not sure if I should fly all the way back to the diamond bag or just go, go to the nearest station and uh, transfer it. It's 10 jumps to get back. Nah, you know what, let's just fly the... it's not that bad. Filters. There we go. It's ten drops. Yeah, ten jumps. Okay, we're just gonna fly back and get the diamond back. And then we're gonna go out and and do some smuggling. Well, that is technically above the horizon, right? Oh, I'll take a cargo mission and abandon it. That could work too. How much jump range do I have in this? I only thought I have 15. Oh, I got it up to over 16 light years. That's not bad. And still there's 10 jumps. <laughs> yeah. If you were standing at the uh, at the horizon when that thing flew past, <laughs> I guess you could feel that. Let's just get some more fuel because this is running out of fuel very quickly. But it is refueling very quickly as well. It's a very good fuel scoop. Very happy with that. No, you couldn't because it was in uh, in hyperspace or in whatever. But if you look at how a warp drive works, I'm pretty sure if you warp space time around you, you're going to feel it somehow. Or maybe you should. But if you're standing at the edge of a warp bubble, wouldn't you be able to feel that? I don't know.
Yay, overheating. High dimension thingy, okay. If you could feel it, you probably would kill you, yeah. Just get some scan data, just because. After a trip to Colonia, I'm not too keen of big fuel scoops. C6 was too big. You don't see much. Why not? What's the problem with big fuel scoops on an ASP? Is it too efficient? Yeah, I don't really see the, the problem with a big fuel scoop. I mean, I would, I would assume that a 6A on an ASP is maybe a bit overkill, but again, if you don't want to spend time fuel scooping, I mean, you should be able to get plenty of fuel just by slightly touching the star each time you go into the system. <sighs> Almost there. Ah, okay. So the point is that because it's so efficient, it's that you're gonna be done scooping way before you're done scanning and looking through the system. Commander Fonic, welcome. Two, 
And I guess, yeah, I could use the largest, largest slot for something useful. Signal source. See what we got. Weapons fire detected. Gonna overshoot it again. Was a little bit too slow on the throttle. Let's go ahead and see what's up. I think we can handle a threat level one. See if anybody wanna mess with the mighty space cube cumber. Scan detected. Internal security. Okay. So I guess not. Scan detected. A novice. Diamondback Scout wanted. Well, this should be easy. Let's see if quickly we can kill him. Ah, oh, missed him. Oh, <laughs> wanted to to ram him. He doesn't even have a shield. There we go. I think he's dead. So how much security is in this sector now? <laughs> Lots of security, but if we pick this up now... That should be stolen, right? We just need to get out of here before they... Galvanizing alloys. No, hold on. Ah, uh, it's all normal materials. It's not the... Uh, it doesn't go in the cargo hold. We can't sell that on a station. Damn it. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, the accent didn't give it away. The O did. Yeah. Oh, cool, yeah. So to see if this station has any kind of um, any kind of missions that we can accept that has at least three units of cargo, we can then abandon. Then it should become stolen after that, and then we just need to find. The closest black market. Here we go, double loop of shame. 
Nope. I think we managed to use the planet to slow off down enough. Oh, almost. Yeah, we did it. There we go. Dynamics. God, this thing is not fast. Yeah, you're welcome. I have a lot of people seems to be very happy with the Quince missions. Um, I mean, I've used it a lot myself, to, to be honest. Mainly to get the expiration rank rather than the money. But it works well for expiration rank as well. Permission granted. You are cleared to set down on landing pad 17. 17. Oh, sorry. Bumped the microphone. Would it be a game break if you were able to transport other players to other? No, I don't think it would. What ship are you using? 20 million in 35 minutes? That's pretty good. Anaconda, I would guess. Python with no shields, only passenger cabins. Okay, no, no missions here. Non-lethal weapons. Nope. Okay, we'll just try to pick something up somewhere in space. Um, what else can we do? What else can we do to find something? I think it might be the fastest just to go for signal sources. Um, and then pick stuff up in there. Because... Those things are illegal. And we just need one signal source. So, um, I think before we do anything else, we're gonna go out and we're gonna find ourselves some signal sources and some stolen cargo. And once we've done that, we're gonna find ourselves some... Um, some black markets. If I jettison and then pick up my own cargo, is it then stolen? I don't think so. Maybe if I abandon it first. Thank you, and uh, thanks for joining. There we go.
Okay, let's find those signal sources. Um, target the main star and let's just see what's in the shipping lanes. Yeah, I was looking for um, a transport mission, something that was unique for that um, so that mission, then I'll just abandon it. That would probably be the easiest way to do it. But uh, there was nothing on the station, so... So that didn't work. That planet is pretty... Look at that. Now you can still abandon the mission, you're just gonna get a huge fine for doing it. But that's okay. I can live with a fine. There's something there. Let's see, we got combat aftermath. Perfect, 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 perfect. There should be lots of stuff here. Oh, but it's still the same. It's all those. Uh, it's all materials. It's not cargo. Damn it. Try again. There's another one. Weapons fire detected. Okay, let's go in. Maybe we're lucky. We're looking for anything illegal. Stolen or illegal cargo. Scan yeah, come on. Finish the scan. Go to the nav beacon. That might be a good idea. Ha! <laughs> I'm not very good at ramming. Hoping that that police ship would begin to shoot at this guy. There we go. I do not have any weapons on this ship. Wow, his shield is recharging fast. Almost got him that time.
Oh no, you don't. Come on, don't let him jump. Oh, missed him. How did I miss that? Ah, I think he's going to jump. He's gonna make it. With 1% hull. Let's get into his slipstream here. What the hell? Now this has become personal now. I want to kill this guy. Okay, third time lucky. Why is it so difficult to hit? This is never a problem when you're trying to undock. <laughs> Come on. Last try. Otherwise, then we're leaving. There we go. Got a lock on him. Got him. Woohoo. Who needs weapons? Now let's hope he drops something. Shield sensors. So again, it's all this. <laughs> it's all materials. Let's get into the main star. Um, and let's get to the nav beacon. See if we can steal some stuff in there. Without getting killed. Unless I come across, um, like, uh, degraded the mission or something like that. Otherwise, we're just gonna go for the nav beacon. I don't know why he didn't jump. I got the frame shift drive. Uh, Warning. I thought he was, I was pretty sure he was going to jump, but uh, maybe I bent something in his frame shift drive or something when it ran him the first time. I mean, I shouldn't have that big of a mass lock, lock, mass lock factor. I mean, I'm in a Diamondback Explorer. Oh, there's one. What is it? Yeah, degraded the mission. Going way too fast. Yeah, I might have mass locked him. I don't know. I mean, I'm not that heavy. It's a small sized ship. It shouldn't have that big of a mass locking factor. the same thing again okay yeah I packed the cucumber 
back at the at the Diamondback. Okay, Nath Beacon. There it is. But, I mean, it took me, what, four? Four tries to actually hit him after he uh, after he tried to jump. He should have been able to charge his frameshift drive in that amount of time. So what do we got? Scan detected. Just begin to scan some ships just to see what we got. Oh, there it is. Oh, there's a Fertilance in here. That could be a problem. Why is nobody shooting? Scan detected. Oh my god, is everybody in here? Everybody's clean. Oh, was that something? Someone who jumped, or was someone? Who Follow the fertilizer. I don't know where he went. He went. Can't see him anymore. Oh, there he is. I just scanned him. Apparently. So everybody in the sector must have scanned me by now. Looks like everybody's clear. Okay, otherwise you might just have to go and pick up um, a mission somewhere else. Uh, state. Oh, 
Was there anything here? So then, boom. Three million. Let's go here, because there's a chance f that the boom should have some boom, uh, boom delivery missions. How I found it? I didn't find the the the, the base in my latest video. Was I was I'm not the original discoverer of this. Someone else found it um, and made me aware of it, so I just made a video about it. Hey Swiss, welcome to the stream. I'm having a pretty good evening. We're having a hard time finding anything illegal to do, but uh, we'll figure something out. Shouldn't be too difficult, but apparently it is. Oh, there's a con there's some conflict zones. They might drop something. Let's start by going to the station and s see what they got in terms of missions. Then we're gonna try the conflict zones. If we don't, um, if we don't choose a side, we should be fairly safe in the conflict zone, I think. And there should be plenty of killing in there, with some good chance of getting some cargo we can steal. But we're gonna check the the uh, the station first, and if there's nothing there, then we're gonna hit one of the uh, whoops, one of the uh, conflict zones, and then the nav beacon at the end. And if that doesn't work either, we might have to go to an anarchy system and just buy something illegal off the market and then find a black market afterwards to sell it at. Lots of conflict zones here, that's good. Yeah, I think there's a bug where you get in uh... No, I think it's okay to go into a conflict zone unarmed. We just don't uh, pledge to any of the sides. Then I don't think they're going to attack us. We'll just stay neutral. I don't know if they're gonna get mad at us when we steal their stuff, but... I guess we'll wait and see. But yeah, I think there's a bug where when you begin to be interdicted by aliens, it will just keep interdicting you over and over again. So let's see what they got. Landing successful. Please shut down all systems. Welcome to the facility, Commander. Yeah, boom. Time delivery. Fifteen units. Perfect. Right? So if we take this. And then we just abandon the mission. And now this should be... Stolen cargo. Perfect. We did something illegal. So where the hell are we at? Korubus. What the hell? 
how do you okay let's go to uh to EDB and see where the closest black market is so station let me just put this over here and put this like there so you can follow along what i'm doing here and zoom in so you can see what actually is going on um Can't you say health black market somewhere? Maximum distance require permits power type. Nope. Health facility. Here we go. Black market. Yeah. And we are in the system of cold whatever. Yes, find stations, sort by distance, that's too far from the main star, let's see, anything within 50 light years is, uh, yeah, this is good, thank you, is, um, is all good, so, I guess this is going to be our first destination. Oh, we have some filters on. There it is. Stop that. Plot a route. And let's get the hell out of here. Really? here there we go interesting with the with the satellites I'll have to look that up hold on I just need to put uh, to write that down somewhere because that might be something I have to check out oh hold on oh crap that shortcut is not working Let me just write this down real quick. Uh, delete and go into folder. There we go. Great. Because normally I always. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Console. Okay. Good. Oh, we're still silent running. So my shortcut is not working for silent running. Why is it not working? Oh my god, I thought I fixed that. So, flight miscellaneous, no. Um, cooling. So now it's back to the old. Oh my god. What the hell? Deploy heatsink? So. I don't get this. So now. Now it works. See, now I can turn silent running on and off. Anyway. Yeah, but now that my silent running is working, it's not a problem to get in. See, this ship can handle uh, running silently pretty well. Ooh. 
What was the name of the station we're going to? It's a surface port. Called Vilt's Palace. Okay, we'll have to look that up in the system map. It's probably on this planet, I would guess. This, that one there. We've never tried to silent run into a surface port, actually. That might be interesting. See how well this goes. Hey, thanks a lot for subscribing. For a planet without an atmosphere, there is a lot of surface outposts on this one. Are we coming in a little too hot, maybe? Docking, what's the gravity like? 0.4. Luckily, the pad is pretty close. I hope they're not gonna scan me when I'm this close to my landing pad. There we go. So we're going to sell one. And now, when we go to our engineering panel, we should be able to see that we're now dealt with three different ones. So we just need to go to two more black markets. And there are actually two stations in this next system that both have black markets.
And I might go and check out that satellite. That sounds pretty interesting. How much room do I have for more scan data? Not a lot, but we can probably make some room. Yeah, I know I can still be scanned when I'm out of the hangar. Now I need to go and set all this back again, which is pretty annoying. That was cooling. Flight miscellaneous. Toggle flight assist. No, cancel that. There we go. Toggle super cruise. Go. That will do it for now. I'll set the rest later. I don't know why it. F Ah, I don't know what happened. Okay. So this is still below the horizon. Yes. So we'll just go into uh, Super Cruise. Pulse or burst? Pulse or burst what? Lasers? I don't think we're talking about lasers right now. Both of these stations should have a black market. But yeah, my uh, my cube copper has beam lasers. Beam lasers all day. Wow, overshooting it bad that time. I really like that they implement it so you can see the orientation of the station once you approach it. That's very, very helpful. Now Silent Rider is not working again. There we go. I was clicked out of the game.
Commander. Please be aware, silent running is considered subversive behavior in this facility. <laughs> uh, they didn't like that. one and then we're gonna go to the other station and then we should be able to go and unlock him oops <laughs> type, type 9 type 9 entering the hangar Might not be the fastest way to get out get outside the mass lock zone. It's funny how well the ship handles heat once it's in space, but as soon as it gets close to a planet, it overheats like crazy. When I was landing on the planet before, it overheated very easily. Scan what? Scan detected. Oh, I have my landing gear for crying out loud. Okay, so I got a fine for the legal cargo. That didn't go well. Hey, thanks a lot for subscribing. That satellite's pretty interesting. It's definitely gonna go there after this. I don't know if we're gonna go and unlock the actual engineer. Or if we're gonna go to the satellite and see what that's what the fuss is all about. I guess it depends on how far the satellite is away from where we are right now. If it's close by we might just go and have a look. Well, that's an interesting name, but welcome to the channel anyway. <laughs> Didn't I just save a document with all that info about that satellite somewhere? Videos, elites, find materials. There it is. There we go. 200 light years from the main area, that's not too bad. That should be pretty close, actually. Not far from the Diamondback, no. Um, I think we're gonna just gonna handle in this, uh, hand in the last um, couple of, uh, of things to the black market. Um, and then I'm gonna do the, the rest of the missions with the, with the engineer later. I would much rather go out and check that satellite, because that sounds pretty interesting.
My in-game name is MP underscore Astro. I'll put it in the chat as well. You're all very welcome to add me if you want. I don't know if there's a maximum number of people you can have on your friend list at any one time, but as long as there's room. It might have been a bad idea. I thought I could just uh, take a quick trip around the planet and then come out on the other side, but it took a little bit longer than expected. Anyway, while we are slow boating it towards that, let's just have a very quick look at the galaxy. What? Ah, too close to the planet. Okay. That's what you get for not paying attention. Come on. Uh, 104 light years. That's two jumps. Lots of people adding me. Oh, come on. There we go. I do have a range um, on the frameshift drive. It is modified. I think my jump range is something like 56 with a f empty tank, 50 with a full tank. That should be our, our five black markets that we've been dealing with now. No, only four? Did I really miss one? Maybe it's not updated yet. Um, anyway, I want to go check out that satellite. Then I might have to, if... I'm pretty sure that was the last one, but anyway. Incoming message. Ah yeah, here we go, incoming message. That sounds like an invitation from an engineer. Yep. It was just a bit delayed. So, now... Okay, pay half a million credits. That's easy. Hello and welcome to the stream.
So let's go to see. Okay, it's three jumps. Okay, so it's, yeah, okay, it's 104, and I can jump. Okay, fair enough. So what do we need to do when we get to the system? We need... There should be three satellites close to some station. So now I are there three satellites in uh, in the same? I, I, are they close to each other? Can you scan all of them? Um, do they give different types of data for the different types of satellites, or are they all the same? Lots of questions. Lots of questions. Hey, I'm just the guy to provide us. Yes, exactly. I guess we'll figure it out once we get up there. We're almost there. I don't know how far the station is from the um, from the main star, though. It could be some distance, but again, we'll figure it out as we go along. Thanks a lot for subscribing. Oh, I have a notepad in the way. Jordan. Lots of asteroid belts. Okay, 800 light seconds. So we should go to this. 800 light seconds is not bad. And then taking my overshooting into a into account is probably be closer to a thousand before we get there, but that's just how it is. Not even gonna try to pronounce that, but welcome and <laughs> thanks a lot for subscribing. Okay, so we should be able to... Hmm, maybe we're gonna get the Baba's point of interest, maybe? Or are they around the station? Are they that close? I see, some, I see a signal source, but I guess that's not it. Try to get a little closer. Okay, just go to the station, the rest would be a surprise. Okay. Is this like a half-built station full of... 
Okay, well, I'm looking forward to it. Now I'm very curious. Yay, overshooting again. So a station, yeah? What the fuck? Ah, oh, they're building capital ships! Ah, oh, that is awesome! Will you look at that? Oh, they're huge! Ah, oh, they're beautiful! They haven't even finished the dock yet. But the ships look pretty complete. Try to get a, some, a size comparison between uh, the ships here. <laughs> so, Diamondback, capital ship. And Diamondback, capital ship. Yeah, good to my capital ships. Okay, I have to do something. I've always wanted to do this. Oh, look, it's they're not building it. They're repairing them. Please give way to oncoming traffic, Commander. Yeah, yeah, I'll give way to all the oncoming traffic. Look at that. They're damaged. They're, re they're being repaired. They're not being built here. There's something I've got to do. There we go. Whoops. Let's go have a look at the other one. Oh, this one have seen a better day. Some seen better days. Is that the cockpit down here? Oh, let's have a look inside the cockpit. Use the healing laces. Oh, this is not the not the cockpit. It's a it's a deck. Can ooh. Okay, need to get my pips weight away from engines. They're too sensitive for this. I'm scraping against something. Oh, that uh, approximate. Well, that's something you don't see every day. Put the landing gear down.
There we go. I would really like if there was a little bit more light in here, actually. Hmm, can we maybe get... Can we get a bit more light on it, somehow? Try to get it over here in the light. Yeah, but it doesn't look good when it's not centered. Uh, landing gear. And then go to free camera like that. Lock it again. There we go. Smile for the camera. Okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oops. Ah, it's just another small scrape. I gotta fix it anyway. Uh, let's see if we can find the bridge. I know I got detracted de a bit here. What's the bridge? Is this the bridge? Uh, I don't think so. Maybe this one up here? Yeah, that looks like this is it. Let's have a look inside. Okay, so it's not that well modeled. I don't think it's gonna allow us to... No. We're gonna get a lost signal. There's only one seat. There's no seats. Although this could make for an epic screenshot as well. That's pretty cool. So, enough sidetracking. <laughs> It just looks so good. Satellites. Okay. So we scan the satellite. Now my scatters of this ship is not very good. Open symmetric key. Specialized legal firmware. Did I scan this one already? Yeah, I did. And this one? What the hell? What was that? Ah, okay. Just cutters. I only scanned two of them, right? So this one, I already scanned. Ah, I haven't scanned this one. Can 
There we go. Long live the empire indeed. Open symmetric key. Oh, that's pretty cool. And now we can just relock and do it all again. Yep, gonna need a lot of green paint for all those ships. <laughs> I want one of these someday. Someday, when they, if they ever allow this to be a player-driven ship, just look at it. I don't care if it's gonna be shit. I want it anyway, just because I want to look at it and have it sitting somewhere in the hangar where there's no room for it anyway. Um, so I was actually, is that another satellite? Oh, we already scanned that. So I was actually, uh, actually coming here to scan the satellites, but I didn't know of all that there was a, a capital ship repair yard here. So I kind of got sidetracked a bit, quite a bit. Let's try and, uh, and let's try and see how this works. So now we should be able to to relock. into another session and then do all this again oh so you spawn out at the edge okay fair enough scan satellite number one scramble the mission data Wasn't this the one I just scanned? No, apparently not. And then we can take the last one. Okay, let's try to jump into open. We'll just boost towards the station if anything happens. There's not a lot of people here, even though we are open. Oh, we got two this time. Unexpected emission data. You're welcome. Where's the last satellite? There should be one. Maybe it's just not on my scanner yet. Should be one over here. Can't seem to find the last one. Anyway. Hold on, hold on. This ship has a lot of light from the front, right? Could we just...
How is this docking bay lit up? This is very well lit up. This is a lot better. Let's just very quickly turn this around. I just want to have a quick try of docking this thing again. Oh, my paint job needs to touch up. Oh, it's still pretty dark, actually. Okay, hope that this it would have been better. Yeah, that's actually odd. That we don't end up in the same session. Anyway, that was a pretty cool place. I'm definitely going to uh, to experiment a bit with this. Um, thanks a lot. Whoops. Thanks a lot for letting me know. Oh, everything is upside down. So, what time is it? It's half past one. Um, lots of tip ops. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave the stream here for tonight. Um, we did get the upgrade to the uh, the cucumber that I wanted, so that's good. Um, and we found that we I, someone told me about this place, which is absolutely amazing. Um, so thanks a lot for that, and thanks a lot uh, for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed the stream, and uh, yeah, if you haven't already, um, I hope you will consider subscribing to the channel. There will be a lot more streams and a lot more videos um, coming out in uh, in the future. Um, so yeah, thanks a lot for watching, and uh, until next time, I will see you guys in space.